Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. We're out here on Lake Erie and uh, it's a real windy day so we've tucked ourselves in amongst these reeds out of the wind and we're going to be fishing for carp today. I'm running the new T-Turn bait rig uh, and I'm going to run the circle hook model today and uh, with the circle hook you'll notice on the, on the tip of the hook it's bent right over which allows you to set the hook right in the side of the mouth. And what I've done is I've loaded that hook up with, uh, with corn. Now, um, I'm going to attempt to stand here and chum the area. I've just got a bunch of corn here that I picked up from the uh, local grocery store, just from your uh, freezer section. Frozen bag of corn. It's not cooked, it's raw. And I'm just going to toss some out there to chum the area, see if we can get some of those carp to come around. Okay, that's a couple handfuls, that's pretty good. And now, maybe a bit of a challenge, I did bring a couple of rods with me just in case here. Got these reeds behind me. This might be a good time to use the pitching technique, I think I will. Great time to use the pitching technique, and this is the pitching technique right here, where you grab the sinker, put a little bit of tension on your rod, toss it out there. Perfect, okay. Now what we're going to do, it's a, it's a waiting game. Hopefully those carp will come around, they'll see that corn, they'll hang around because I've chummed the area, and they'll pick mine up as well. And with the circle hook, you don't pull to set the hook, you just start reeling. And what happens is because of that bend on the end of that uh, point, the hook point, the hook actually just slides along the, the inside of the carp. Hmm, I got a bug there. <laughs> the hook just comes along the inside of the mouth catches the side of the mouth and hooks the fish right in the side of the mouth. So circle hooks are great for catch and release and that's what we're going to do today folks. <laughs> Never fails. Every time I go to eat something, I was just eating my apple and it was a good thing I had my rod in my hand because he just took off. <laughs> that was really something. I've got a good one on here. now. The challenge is going to be, we're tucked in here in these reeds. If he goes too far to the left, I may have to somehow uh, maneuver to get him out, and that's what he's doing right now. I have to try to keep him out of there. And the other thing I did... Oh, he's coming in here now close. The other thing I did, as you can see, I put a bobber on. Oh, that's a nice carp. Oh, yeah. I put a bobber on. Oh, cameraman's rod. I'll have to try to move that rod out of the way. The reason I put the bobber on was not to fish suspended, but rather more for bite detection. Okay. Because we're bouncing around in this boat here, and it was hard to tell when you get in the bite. Okay, come on, Mr. Kirk. Yes. Whoa, what an exciting bite that was. Right when I was eating my apple. <laughs> Never fails, I've always said, for, for those of you who have subscribed, you know I've always said, the best time to get a bite if things aren't happening is just start eating. Okay, let's see if I can get him off the hook. Now, because it's a circle hook, you can see here. Well, let's get him in, and I'll show you. I move my rod. Okay, Mr. Carp. Nice size carp. They get huge. This is a, I'm gonna say a nice sized one. Okay. They're so thick and strong and powerful. And he's gonna, where's the hook? Oh, the hook came out, I think. Or no, no, it's right there. Right where it should be, right in the side of the mouth. There it is right there. Good, well, just to see that. It was barely, barely hooked in there. Okay. This guy's still full of energy. Okay, Mr. Carp. There we go. <laughs> There's a nice carp right there. Good bite, good fight. Nice carp, thick fish. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Catch and release for you right there. And like I say, all I'm using is that corn. So 
now that we got this fish, I'm going to put a little more corn out there because I don't know how much of that corn he ate while he was in there, but by the time he found my hook, and, uh, and like I say with these circle hooks, they really do a great job for, uh, for catch and release. I'm tangled up here with the, uh, with the uh, cameraman's line, so I'm going to have to untangle his line up and uh, get back out there again. But you can see I put a bobber on, and like I say, the bobber is not allowing me to fish suspended. My bait rig is still on the bottom. The bobber is just there for bite detection. But honestly, folks, I got to tell you, I didn't need it that time because he just took off with it. But regardless, I'm going to stick with the bobber. Okay, time to untangle. Okay, so I've loaded my uh, circle hook up again with corn. And like I said, I like to put as much corn as I possibly can on that hook so it hides the hook. And then as you can see, I've put about four feet of line I've got to, uh, to a bobber. And, uh, and I'm still able to use the pitching technique to get my line out there. But the difference is now the bobber is going to be just floating. My uh, corn is going to be on the bottom. And I think what I'm going to do after that last fish, I think I'm just going to hold my rod like so, watch my bobber, and if it just goes down, I'll just start reeling. But like I say, that time it went down and he went out and I just, <laughs> he set the hook himself. But uh, we'll see if we can get in another fish or two. Oh, folks, I got a screamer on. I got to tell you what I did there. He's just taken off. I said to the cameraman, I want to try something. Wow, this is a strong fish. I switched up rods. I had that bobber out there. And if you could take a look at this point right here, you see where the reeds come out? I said to the cameraman, I know these carp like to follow along the shorelines. And uh, about a half hour went by, I didn't get a bite on the bobber. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna take it in. I got this other rod rigged up. I'm just gonna toss it real close right here. And guess what? It wasn't there for 10 minutes. And I hooked into a, I think a decent fish right here. That was really good. <laughs> oh yeah, it feels like a good one. Now, when they get close like this, you gotta back off on the drag and let them take line. Otherwise, they could break off. Although I am running, I am running 20 pound fluorocarbon today. Oh, with my T-turn bait rig. And of course, this is the uh, the carp model bait rig. There's different bait rigs there. This is the actual carp model. Oh boy, strong fish. And like I said, we're using corn. Now, some states apparently you can't use corn. Uh, maybe there might be some provinces where you can't use corn. Oh, this is a big carp. It's oh, a good fish. I was going to say, if you can't use corn, you could use dough balls, you could use boilies. You could even, uh, if you're stuck, just buy some Wonder Bread, take the white part of the bread, roll it up into a little ball, and away you go. This is a nice fish, folks. This is a bigger carp. Oh yeah. This is a bigger carp. Oh, I guess, I guess that spot was a good one after all. Whoa. Oh, that's a good fish. Folks, if you've never fished for carp, you really got to give it a try. This is unbelievable. Oh, they are so strong. You got the chance to catch a big, strong fish. Oh, look at that. He's thick, too. Big, thick carp. Oh, yes. I don't know if I can get him in here. Oh, my. I don't want to lose him. It's a really nice fish. Oh, he's taking drag again. Oh, you can see he's hooked inside of the mouth. Oh, and he's going again. <laughs> These fish are relentless. Oh, okay, come on, Mr. Carp. That's a big carp. Oh, that's a big carp. Yes. That was a battle. I gotta tell you, that was a battle. And if you're wondering, yes, I do have my little bass net, but Antonio was supposed to join us today. So we're using his net. He couldn't make it after all. And I think he's missing out. Oh, 
that's a heavy fish. Oh, he's easy. Oh boy. Folks, this one is well over 20 pounds. Well over 20 pounds. Oh, what a big, thick, heavy fish. Oh, okay. Okay. I got this mat down here for him. And the hook just in the side of the mouth, so it'll be an easy release. Ah, come on out of there. Right in the side. They got like rubbery gums. Okay, out comes the hook. Oh my, what a fight. This is a big, big heavy fish, folks. Big heavy fish, oh yes. This is oh, easy, easy over, over 20 pounds. There's no two ways about it. Oh, I can't even get my hand around the tail. Wow. <laughs> That's a big carp. Thick, look how thick. You want to sock about shoulders, they got shoulders. I need a quick photo for Instagram. And then we're going to release this carp. Look how wide. Look at how wide that fish is. My goodness. Okay, I got myself a nice photo. And lifting this fish up, folks, easy, easy 25 pounder. Okay, let's get it back in. Easy 25 pounds. Oh, wow. What a great fish and a great fight. Oh my, folks, I gotta tell you, simple fishing, T-turn rig, a little bit of corn, or a dough ball or a boilie, find yourself some, uh, some calm water like we did today. Spring and summer, great time to fish for carp. If you've never tried it, give it an opportunity. We love it, I know you'll love it too. And I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. It's always great to see you. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Wow, that was great. That's a heavy fish. Oh, careful, don't break my net. Holy, that's, that's a big, heavy fish.